Hello there, my name is Anthony Barocas for Stream Tech, and today I want to introduce you to NDI. It's an alternate way to connect video gear that doesn't use SDI or HDMI cables. Rather, it uses standard computer networking, which opens up a whole world of possibilities. Thank you for joining me on this very high introductory overview of NDI. Please subscribe to this channel and if you find these videos useful, share them on your social media so they can help other people and you can help me grow this channel. Thank you. NDI is an acronym that stands for Network Device Interface. It's, it's a very generic acronym and it was introduced by a company called NewTek in 2015 at the National Association of Broadcasters Convention, also called NAB. Since its introduction in 2015, NDI has grown rapidly due to its ability to send high quality video, audio, and metadata over standard computer networks in real time. This revolutionizes video workflows because of the seamless exchange of video content between all kinds of hardware devices and software applications within a local area network or LAN. This eliminates the need for traditional point-to-point -point hardware connections using SDI or HDMI cables. NDI is used in live video production, recording, streaming, and broadcasting environments. It enables the integration of cameras, computers, video mixers, recorders, players, and other production equipment into a unified computer network. This allows for more efficient connection, collaboration, easier setup, and the ability to transmit video signals over long distances without any degradation in quality because the video and audio has been converted to data. And when moving data across a network, like a text document or, or even streaming video, you never worry about the distance that data has to go. Now the same can be said for NDI. In this video, I'm going to cover just five things. NDI advantages, NDI bandwidth, NDI latency, the different NDI standards, and some cost considerations with NDI. So let's get started. Some advantages of using NDI instead of SDI or HDMI include connection flexibility. NDI uses standard computer networking protocols using off-the-shelf Ethernet and Wi-Fi hardware. This allows for easy integration with existing network infrastructure that you already have in place and the ability to transmit video signals over long distances without the need for specialized video only cabling. Scalability. NDI supports multiple video streams over a single network connection, making it easy to scale up the number of video sources and destinations without the need for additional matrix switching or distribution amplifier hardware. I'll talk more about this later. Compatibility. NDI is a standard that accepts nearly every worldwide video format. This enables a user in one city to see and use the NDI video captured in a different format in another city even another country. Low latency. Latency is the delay from real time to when the image gets sent over the network. NDI offers low latency video transmission, making it suitable for real time applications such as live broadcasting, recording, events, and video conferencing. Multi-platform compatibility. NDI is a standard. It is supported by a wide range of hardware devices and software applications enabling connections between different manufacturers and platforms like Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, iOS, and more. Cost Effectiveness Since NDI utilizes existing network infrastructure, it can be more cost effective than investing in specialized hardware like SDI switches or HDMI extenders 
especially if the video gear you need to connect is far apart from each other, like across a school campus, across a city, even across the world. Overall, NDI provides a versatile and efficient solution for video production and streaming workflows, offering advantages in flexibility, scalability, and compatibility over traditional SDI or HDMI connections. Let's talk bandwidth. NDI converts video to data streams. These streams require a certain amount of bandwidth on the network. NDI's bandwidth requirements vary depending upon several factors, such as the resolution you pick, the frame rate you pick, and the compression settings of the video streams being transmitted. High definition, or HD video, may require tens of megabits to just over 100 megabits per stream. 4K streams can require 100 megabits to several hundred megabits, depending upon the compression settings and other factors. The data rate is not an exact or absolutely fixed number because NDI allows you to adjust the compression settings to balance your video quality with the bandwidth needed. You can prioritize either higher quality with higher bandwidth or lower bandwidth with more video compression. And let me touch on the network for a moment. To ensure optimal performance and reliability, it's recommended to use a dedicated gigabit ethernet network for NDI traffic, especially in scenarios where multiple high resolution video streams are being transmitted simultaneously. Additionally, network congestion and packet loss can affect NDI's performance, so it's essential to properly configure and manage network infrastructure to minimize these issues. You will need to learn and understand basic computer networking to fully and reliably leverage NDI's advantages. It has turned many a video guru into a networking and IT professional. Let's talk latency. I mentioned latency before, but it really deserves a bit more explanation. Latency is the delay from real time to when the image gets sent over the network. NDI offers low latency video transmission, making it suitable for real-time applications such as live broadcasting, recording events, and video conferencing. However, it is not analog video, which passes the signal through as it's being captured to the sensor. NDI takes time to capture the whole frame, compress the frame, then pass it along using standard computer protocols that allow for the packet collision, where two packets from different devices get sent at the same time, then the packets get resent, there's microsecond delays, then it gets received, it needs to be decompressed, and all this contributes to the total latency of NDI. So the latency introduced by NDI can depend upon several factors. These factors include network conditions. The latency of NDI video can be influenced by the quality and congestion of the network infrastructure through which the NDI is being transmitted. A well-configured, low-latency network with sufficient bandwidth will minimize your latency. Compression settings. NDI offers different compression settings allowing you to adjust the balance between video quality and latency. Higher compression can reduce the bandwidth used but may introduce more latency due to the increased encoding and decoding processing needed. Hardware and software implementation. The performance of specific NDI-enabled hardware devices and specific software applications can also impact your latency. Efficient encoding and decoding algorithms, as well as optimization of the NDI implementation, will minimize the latency. What this means is encoding in every different device out there on the market is different, and not all encoding is the same. In typical scenarios with optimal network conditions, NDI latency can range from milliseconds to a few frames, depending upon factors such as the type of NDI used, your resolution, the frame rate, and the network load. In many cases, NDI latency is imperceptible to viewers and participants in real-time applications. However, it's important to note 
that achieving extremely low latency may require careful network optimization, hardware selection, and configuration. Additionally, latency introduced by other components in the video production workflow, such as video switchers, monitors, video wall processors, and the encoding and decoding process should also be taken into account when designing a real-time system based on NDI. If you're finding this information useful, subscribe to the channel right now and click the bell so you're notified when we post great content like this. Thank you. NDI standards. Full NDI is the original NDI standard with the least compression and the lowest latency. This standard provides high quality, low latency video, audio, and metadata transmission over the computer network hardware. The next NDI is HX, where HX means high efficiency. It's a software optimized version of NDI designed specifically to lower bandwidth, enabling more sources, and even wireless transmission. It offers similar benefits as full NDI, but with more aggressive compression, allowing for smoother performance over constrained networks or wireless connections. NDI HX is often used in applications such as wireless camera systems, mobile production, and remote collaboration. The original NDI HX, which I'll call HX1, it enabled manufacturers to quickly add NDI to existing streaming hardware as a software codec. You may find that today, in 2024, there's hardware being introduced that does not fully support devices made with HX1. The NDI organization has said HX1 is being depreciated, so be aware of that when buying used gear based on HX1, including NewTek's own original PTZ cameras and Spark NDI converters. NDI HX2 builds upon the capabilities of one with improved compression efficiency and video quality. It delivers better performance in terms of image clarity and motion handling while maintaining low latency. HX2 is widely adopted, often used on smaller devices, and it enables NDI over Wi-Fi with data rates typically under 50 megabits for HD video. NDI HX3 is the latest revision of the HX standard enabling users to customize the settings for their needs. This enables you to tweak the settings and potentially really dial in the specifics for the most optimal settings for your needs. HX3 can even include switching between the older H.264 and the newer H.265 codec. The key difference between those two is the H.265 or HEVC for high efficiency video codec, this new codec can deliver the same video quality as H.264, but at nearly half the data rate. Of course, there's a trade-off. And that trade-off is the increased efficiency comes with increased processing time. I mentioned this a little bit at the start of the video. NDI costs. Numerous companies manufacture hardware and software that integrates NDI. Most often, it's in conjunction with or in addition to other streaming capabilities the device may have or other video connections. So, NDI is often not the exclusive way to get video from a camera or to take video in to a switcher. In fact, NDI is still considered optional on most equipment. Be careful, though because this means that some hardware that touts NDI may have it available, but it takes an additional NDI license purchase to activate it. This additional cost can range from less than $100 to several hundred dollars per device, depending on the device. Generally though, activating NDI on a device activates it fully so that all the NDI capabilities on that device become active with the one purchase. There are no additional NDI costs once NDI is activated for that device. Also, the NDI activation for that device stays with that device. It's locked to the hardware. So if you sell that camera, it goes activated with NDI. You don't get to swing that NDI license over to a different camera. 
Some devices may include NDI, like a bird dog camera or encoder, which comes with NDI activated and is available by default. It is designed to use and sold as an NDI device. Other hardware, like this Yolobox Ultra or this Obsbot Tail Air, require an additional purchase to activate NDI on the device. This is because, like I says, NDI is not the only way of connecting video to or from these devices. For those that don't need or want NDI, they don't have to pay for it. Additional NDI license purchases have been common on certain devices for years. The price varies by device and by company, so be sure to understand the full cost if you're looking at purchasing a device that offers NDI because there may be an additional NDI license cost per device. Additionally, if you dive into incorporating a lot of NDI on a network with many sources feeding in many different destinations in many directions, you will need to put on your networking professional hat and count the bits being sent in different directions against the bit budget available in the hardware you plan to use. For example, if you want three 4K cameras to send full NDI at 350 megabits each, that alone is substantially over what a single professional gigabit network or gigabit computer port can handle. And that's just three cameras, not counting anything else. So if your needs exceed the bandwidth available, there may indeed be some additional networking costs to upgrade your computer infrastructure. I recommend a conversation with an IT professional when you reach that level of NDI use. In conclusion, NDI offers unparalleled flexibility to send high quality video, audio, and metadata over standard computer networks in real time. NDI revolutionizes video workflows because the seamless exchange of video content between all kinds of hardware devices and software applications. This can eliminate the need for traditional point-to-point -point hardware connections using SDI or HDMI cables. NDI also offers the ability to create bridges between environments, enabling users in one country to see and control cameras in another country by establishing an NDI link between those two sites. Again, it's not just video and audio, but also camera control, panning, tilting, zooming, audio, and even crew communications between locations. NDI is used in live video production, recording, streaming, broadcasting environments around the world. It enables the integration of cameras, computers, video mixers, recorders, players, and other production equipment into a unified network. This allows for the efficient setup and collaboration, as well as the ability to transmit video signals over long distances without degradation. If you want to check out NDI tools for free, you can go to ndi.video, which is the home of NDI. If you want a more in-depth video about NDI in actual use with a demonstration of several different setups and examples, please watch my other video right here. You'll be glad you did. There are several other videos on this channel about NDI-enabled hardware. Please subscribe to this channel and if you find these videos useful, share them on your social media so they can help other people and you can help me grow this channel. My name is Anthony Barocas for StreamTech. Thanks for watching.